Good day, good day, royal fans. Today's headline. Just about every sort of discussion and accusation imaginable has been hurled at Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in the years, since the couple announced that they would be stepping down as senior members of the royal family. The British tabloid press and Meghan's awful family have divided the task of degenerating these two for sport, and they've done a remarkable thorough job of attacking the challenge from every angle. So, it always comes as no surprise or as a huge surprise when the media digs into the archives and comes up with a new criticism of Harry and Meghan's actions from years prior. According to the controversial new documentary, The Princes and the Press, it was expected that the couple would share their big news from the steps of the Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital, just as Harry's brother and sister-in-law did, and his mother and father did before them. Instead, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex steered clear of the press and made their announcement on social media. They told us that there would be positions out in Windsor, outside the castle, where there would be media briefings, Richard Palmer, royal correspondent for the Daily Express, said in the dock. And then on the day he was born, they announced, she's gone into labor, and so we're all rushing to Windsor, Palmer continued. And then you find, oh, she's given birth, and actually, she'd given birth hours ago, before we told you she'd gone into labor. They made it so difficult for us, and it felt like they had deliberately gone out of their way to make the British media look stupid. So, the baby was born in the early hours of the morning, and I'm in a taxi on the way to be reporting that she's in labor, echoed Camilla Tomini, an associate editor at the Daily Telegraph. When in fact, it's a fate accomplished. And by the way, they're not going to tell us much, including where the baby's been born, she added. So, if I'm asked to live live on air where the baby's been born, I won't be able to say. Harry and Meghan's use of social media, I think, really threw the British press for a loop, Ellie Hall, a senior reporter for BuzzFeed News, said. It was only when Archie was born that it really became something that if you wanted to know what was going on with Harry and Meghan, you'd have to follow this account. When we finally were introduced to Archie, it was three days after he was born, Riona Mills, a royal correspondent for Sky News, chimed in. They decided that they wanted to do a very small photo call. There you have it guys, some more news on the ways and works of Harry and Meghan. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and goodbye for now.